a tie clinch in kickboxing or MMA. So a couple things we're going to do. We're going to pick a hand. That hand's going to come around to the back side of his neck. I'm going to pull his head towards my shoulder. My other hand is going to hang heavy on this outside bicep, and I'm going to collapse my elbow down. So when I do those together, I'm able to pop my head up. So Colby's in, he jabs, pop here. Here and here. And I'm trying to collapse his elbow with my shoulder. So I'm here, about here. Posture in, and I'm walking my hips in, but I'm staying low, especially for you guys who are fighting MMA. Thai guys will walk up when they do this because they're trying to break the grip so that they can beat. Here's the problem with that in MMA they just drop the guard and shoot. So, I'm here, she gets in, boom, I step in, and I'm keeping a wide base and my hips low here. Now, a couple options of what we're going to go over. First one is going to be a shut pop. So, I'm here, I drive in, all I'm going to do is step hard to the arm that is around the head. I'm going to look away, shut past. Pulling hard and stepping, hitting him with my chest and shoulders. So five, here, here. Then all we're going to do, I'm going to meet, push out. If I want a back trip, I can. That's more of a dealer's choice than what you like. So I'm here, bop, bop. Take it in. I start defending myself. I don't like where this is going. Stop. You can see it. You can do it right there. You can trip if you want. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Questions on that? One more time, anything else? Alright, he's in, he jabs, clinch. Pick a side, I don't care what side you go to. And the reason this hand is important on the bicep, especially for you guys who want to compete as pros, this stops the elbow. So if I don't hang on this head, that's where those elbows start coming in. So over here, I'm collapsing that elbow down so that way if he tries to bring his hand up in front of your elbow, I'm out. Look away. Hold, right, now, huh? The thing I like about that is, me, so you drive off. Slip it. Exiting with the purpose there. You can't be lazy in exiting the place. You turn Exit, hands up. Where a dad puts up in the face, keep thinking. Questions on that? <laughs> Driller out, one, two. He jabs, he gets in, right? Boom, oh, I don't like this anymore. Boom, I get those same grips here. Well, let's say I try this and Colby doesn't suck at Muay Thai, right? He's still there. He's still not going to go. I don't like that. So our hand's going to come under that elbow. If you're in big gloves, you're hitting it kind of palm. If you're in MMA gloves, you can actually like C cup this. I'm going to step, pull, here. Once you're here, as uncivilized as you'd like to be. <laughs> if you go to the left side, that liver is there. Here, you can throw, be, be, be as violent as you see necessary at that point. The big goal is here, be in this clinch. I'm stepping here, and I'm step under, drop my hips, and pull. That way, once my head comes out that other side, I'm trying to put it on the back of his shoulder so he can't get that arm back here. In an ideal world, you trap up this hand. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But if I'm here and this is all trapped up, I love a good liver shot. I love a good hip toss from here. There's going to be kind of dealer's choice of options of what you can do. If you want to throw, connect your hands. That's just nice. It's just unnecessary. <laughs> if you like to strike here, you know, you can do some fun stuff there. Get to that position. Make sure you feel good in control. Once you have that control, find something you like. MMA, yes. I'm gonna throw you or I'm gonna body lock and just put you down. But Muay Thai, kickboxing rules like some of us have coming up, you're gonna get that clinch up and you're gonna hit them hard quickly so that they don't break that clinch. Alright? One more time, we're here. I don't care what side you go to, you pull this hand to the side, under, I'm going to step, hips change, under. And out, if that hand comes out, that's fine. I can still. Palm to palm grip. I can hit, hit, throw, back trip, 
hit something, find something you liked, exit with a purpose still. So if you come out of this and you're not trying to take Mr. Lauten down, right? When I'm here, when I talk about exiting with a purpose, that's not lazily walking away. When I exit and I'm here, I'm back into him or I'm punching my way out. Got it? Hands up. Be ready. One, looking up. I'm here with Mr. Lauten. He punches me up, right? Oh, I don't like that at all. All we're going to do is I'm going to step in, hips under me, and I'm going to change my level, not at my chest, but at my hip. So I get to this counter, counter punch control here. I'm going to drop in here. My hips do all the motion. My chest doesn't work. Okay? So I'm here. I get to control. I drop. Then all we're going to do, my hands are going to collapse the back of his back. I want to look. Here. And I like to walk up and in. So that way when I'm here, I flip my hands and roll his back. Is that a suggestion? Is that easy to do? Yeah. Because you don't have to have cup grips. It's actually easier because the bigger padding catches your hands. So you're not relying on a grip to do it. The biggest thing is, guys, I'm here with my thumbs. My palms are up. My palms are down. So I'm here. He's in. I get to this control. I try a couple of those. I don't like it. Step in. Here. I walk up. Yep. Roll. That's good. Step up. Snap down. My head pressure is in his chest, and I'm driving him through my mat. All right. Questions on this? You can go that way. I prefer this one. All right. Drill it out. 